People are disappointed and so am I. This video is divided in three sections from the perspective of someone who bought a bamboo lab printer before things went in the wrong direction. Let's start with why I chose the bamboo lab A1 mini. I've been fascinated by 3D printing for a long time and spent months researching different options. I shortlisted a few models including the Anycubic Cobra 2 Neo, Creality Ender 3 V3, KE, SE and the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. I wanted a printer that worked out of the box with minimal maintenance. While the Ender 3 lineup is great for learning the ins and outs of 3D printing, they come with some regular challenges. The Anycubic Cobra 2 Neo seems like a solid budget choice but I couldn't find enough information on it to make a decision. Ultimately, the A1 Mini fit my criteria. Budget-friendly, hassle-free, fast and capable of high-quality prints. So why everyone is upset with Bamboo Lab? In late January, Bamboo Lab introduced new policies that give them more control over their printers through mandatory authorization. Additionally, users might be restricted to only using their proprietary slicer Bamboo Studio and third-party software for printing or managing multiple printers might no longer be supported. Naturally, this hasn't gone over well with the community, myself included. Many users speculate, focus on speculate, that this could lead to first, a subscription model for cloud services, affecting features like remote printing via Bamboo Studio and Bamboo Handy, and second, restricting the AMS compatibility to only Bamboo branded filaments, especially since they already come with RFID tags similar to how some HP printers work only with their own cartridges. After significant backlash on forums and YouTube, Bamboo Lab did release statements saying that their current lineup will remain unaffected. However, this still leaves room for some potential restrictions in future models. Now, what's my take on this situation? Buying something like a 3D printer in India, where you cannot even justify its use or purpose is already hard. I got this printer after saving a lot and I honestly cannot afford to just sell it to someone and make it their problem in future. That said, this is my entry to the world of 3D printing and I have to admit, the machine itself is impressive. Setting aside all the controversy, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. My failed prints so far were due to user error, once because I forgot to enable supports and another time because I tweaked slicer settings without fully understanding them. Otherwise, I've printed models from Maker World and my own Blender designs using Bamboo Studio's default setting and the results have been consistently great. For now, keeping this printer and continuing my journey makes the most sense. I've already spent the money, Bamboo has already made their profit and selling it would only hurt me as the end consumer. I got this as a hobbyist and 3D artist and if it eventually pays for itself, that's a bonus. But I'll likely switch to LAN mode to avoid cloud dependencies altogether. There's always the option of using the SD card for manual file transfers, though it's inconvenient in the long run, especially for users with multiple printers. Now, if you're considering buying this printer, just keep in mind that while Bamboo says there won't be a subscription or filament lock-in, there's always a chance it could happen in future models. I've only used their software so far and it works well, but I'd like the flexibility to try other slicers and printer management tools for a machine that I own. But in future, if and whenever I eventually upgrade to a larger printer, I'll take my time exploring other brands. The 3D printing market is evolving quickly and more companies are offering open source firmware and great software options. I'll definitely be looking into those alternatives. One thing's for sure. I'll be making plenty of 3D prints and sharing my experiences here. If that interests you, consider following for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.